Hey, this is Jerry the King Lawler, DJZ, Grandmaster Sex Day, Brian Christopher, and you are watching, and you're watching, and you're watching VCA Wrestling. VCA Wrestling. Wrestling fans, welcome to VCA, the best wrestling in all of Memphis, Tennessee. And ladies and gentlemen, in the ring, we have Johnny Ewing being accompanied by Uncle Calvin. I haven't seen these guys in a couple weeks, and, and I don't know what they're doing out here, but I can tell you right now, Uncle Calvin does not look pleased, and Johnny's looking a little confused. Let's see what uh, Uncle Calvin has to say. I got a few things that I want to say tonight. I'm trying to 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 to I'm to I'm to I'm to your job was to be that what you were failed to do. So we don't tolerate with people like that. What's Uncle Calvin talking and about? Thing, Johnny, I want you to understand that you have been a kind of man and you should have made it's done for you to get a fire shot, but you did not do it. So, what I'm asking you tonight is for all of these people to take off your hat. What? To take off that shirt and hang it over. What? What is Uncle Calvin doing here? Is he. Is he. Is he kicking Johnny Ewing out of his. I think he's kicking Johnny Ewing out of the cabinet, but the cabinet's already been disbanded, but these two have been a unit for so long. It's Johnny Ewing's just gonna take off the shirt. Oh, yeah. Uncle Calvin and Johnny Ewing, they started the cabinet. Is Uncle Calvin finishing it? Oh. I see you still like that if I'm trying to get that back. The cabinet's been disbanded since, since the anniversary show, but. Is this really over? For two, for two weeks. You ain't said nothing to me. You haven't made a call, not an email, not a text message. No, only that. Even in the back, when we were sitting in the back and I was getting motivated for my match tonight, you didn't even say anything then. But all of a sudden, you come out here to all these people. Oh, and you want to embarrass me? You see, that's what I'm talking about. You trying to do exactly what Tam Ray do. Come out here and try to embarrass somebody. You know something? A couple of months ago, I left you job turkeys alone. Then, when I was doing my own thing, beating tail like I do it, y'all come bringing y'all tails back to me, begging me, please, please, come on back to the cabinet. First of all, I don't go back to no cabinet because the cabinet started with me. First of all, so can't nobody kick me out of something I built. Terrain and do a damn thing. 
<laughs> you know what? You know what, Miss Calvin? You and Cal you ain't got to worry about me. I ain't got to worry about you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do what I wanna do around here. Some people might not agree with what I do around here, but guess what? I'm gonna do it Johnny Ewan's way. And you know something else? I'm not gonna tolerate nothing neither. Because as far as I know it, the cat is dead anyway because I ain't messing with you or Terry Ray no more. You understand what I'm saying? Let me tell you something, guys. I've been around this for 37 years. I was in an hour of five minutes ago. So you know more than just a father on the wall. Let me tell you something. You got your hand. You got your shirt. I guess, I guess that's what you. That's guess what's going on. You better kick him out. All right. I ain't the captain no more. I'm me. I'm gonna do what I do. But before you leave, though, come here, brother. Come on over. Since I ain't with the captain no more, and Terry ain't even here, so oh, this one. What's Johnny got planned? Hold this one. Now, I just want to give you this because not, not only I've been two times here, but you know something? You guys have given me good. But you know something? I got to be appreciative. So, in front of all these fans, everybody on YouTube, which will be here Wednesday night, 8 o'clock. And everybody over here, I want to give you my appreciation. You know what I'm saying? Landon Bassett shot by Johnny Ewing. I can't believe what we just saw, but ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our first contest here tonight. We have Michael the Radio Clark going up against Justice in a match that I've been waiting for since the anniversary show two weeks ago. Justice, of course, turning his back on the entire VCA fans and his friends in the back when he stabbed Michael Clark and hit him with that devastating choke slam, ending their friendship. Michael Clark drumming up at Justice, trying to go full force here, but he got to come up with some kind of strategy going up against the seven foot tall Justice. Drop kick, and that second one does not work, and the third one knocks the big man down to his knee. Josh is rolling out, maybe he needs to come up with some kind of strategy to go up against Michael Clark here tonight. Michael Clark is ready, he's been wanting this chance to fight Justice. And look at this, a suicide dive by Michael Clark, but Justice picks him up, body slams him on that apron. That apron, that steel frame is the hardest part in the entire ring. And he just slammed him on there. And he's picking him up in a gorilla press and throwing him into the ring with ease. The strength of justice is absolutely incredible here tonight. Justice. Justice, like I said, he turned his back on the fans and on his friends when he attacked Michael Clark after he won the number one contendership for the Junior Vader Championship. And look at you Justice now. Did they throw him out to the crowd? Justice just drops Michael down on the mat like nothing. Like nothing. Justice. Over eight feet in the air, including the arm reach. That has to, that has to take a lot out of Michael. Josh is putting his foot over Michael for the pin. The disrespect of Justice. He's changed so much these past couple of weeks. It's, he's, he's almost unrecognizable. Back right to Michael Clark, and Michael gets a gut punch in. And one club from Justice sending Michael down, that's all he needs. Michael, Michael's been wanting this opportunity to fight Justice for so long. We yeah. might just regret it. Justice, the near 300 pound giant of a man. He's 
having a scuffle with the referee. He needs to stop worrying about the referee and worry about Michael. Michael looks like he should be the one worried now. Justice crunching in that leg. Right, take down the, looks like the knee and the ankle of Michael Clark. The, the, those body parts is what such a smaller guy like Michael needs against a bigger man like Justice. You take out those legs and Michael can't even walk. What good is he in the ring against Justice? He's locking in that leg lock. Michael. Michael needs to go ahead and tap out right now. He's turning into a half leg Boston Crab. and slams Michael's knee into the mat. Just is going for an easy pin right now and Michael kicking out. Just He needs to keep his shoulders down on that three count. I don't think he wants what Just is going to serve to him. Just has got him in a chin lock now. Michael Clark so close to those ropes. I want to remind all the fans right now that on December 1st, PCA will present Extravaganza. Special start time is 7.30. Tickets are only $20 for adults. Kids get in for only 10. And BCA fans, I want everyone to know right now that on Friday, November 30th, the day before Extravaganza, we'll be holding a $5 show to see all the action like we're witnessing right now with Mocker Clark hitting that NZ Gurry on the top of Justice's head. Mocker Clark up to his feet. Justice down on the mat. Mocker Clark is sitting the top rope. Waiting for Justice to get up. And a crossbody, but Justice catches him. Justice. She got flat near. And a running power slam by Justice. That could be all it for Michael Clark. Justice not even in a hurry to cover him. I don't think he's worried about beating him right now. He just wants to punish Michael Clark. Last week we asked Justice why, why he attacked Michael Clark. He said he doesn't even need a reason to. Justice putting a foot up against Michael Clark's throat. Choke him in that corner. Referee counting, trying to stop it. He has no five. You better be glad to win those strikes. Justice has been intimidating referee Elijah all match. And Michael Clark gets those shots into the gut, and a kick to the knee, and a chop by Michael Clark. Michael taking a second to breathe, but he should take advantage of this moment. Justice is still, he's still fresh in this match. He's, he's barely had any offense on him. Michael Clark, and a pressure splash from the outside. Justice kicks out at once, so I was just saying, he is fresh in this matchup still. Michael Clark thought he could at least take him down a little bit more than that. Look at the expression on his face. Michael going for the leg himself. Taking down the roots of that tree of a man, Justice. Michael Clark with another elbow to the knee. Driving down on the seven foot tall Justice. Oh. Michael needs to work this match to his advantage. He needs to do anything he can to put Justice down. Just that one shot from Justice is all it takes to bring Michael to his knees, but Michael with the same gut shot. And a close line, but it does not work in Michael's favor. And another. Another clothesline, but doesn't even budge Justice. Justice grabbing Michael, throwing him into the corner. Justice Irish whipping Michael into the corner. 
Tress is going for a big splash and he misses! took Michael out more than it did justice. Michael is worn out right now going up against such a big man like Justice, but he's trying to go for the same legs that Justice was going for earlier. Taking a page out of Justice's playbook. Michael Clark. Punch to the face of Justice. And a DDT from his knees. Justice is down and Michael Clark is out as well. Rolling over, going for that cover. He gets a two count on Justice. He's just that much closer to beating the big man here tonight. I don't know what kind of move he has to pull off to beat him. Looks like he might be going to the top rope though. What Michael Clark got planned here tonight. And Michael with the missile drop kick, sending the big man down. Michael's got to roll over and pin Justice right now if he wants any chance of beating him here tonight. Come on, Michael. Michael getting to his feet with Justice right behind him. Running forearm smash by Michael Clark and another one. Maybe one more is all he needs, but he's going off the ropes, rebound. And the big devastating boom by Justice, that could be it. Justice with the straps off, with the ropes shaking, that means the end is here. Justice just taunting Michael. Picking him up by the throat. Going for that Paddington maneuver, that choke slam from seven and feet in the air. But Michael goes to the back. Was that a low blow? Was that a low blow? And a three count, Michael Clark just beat Justice. Michael Clark just beat the big man Justice. Michael has wanted this opportunity since the anniversary show and he finally got it. He got his revenge on Justice here tonight. But you know what, cause he hit him with a low blow. He hit him right where the sun don't shine. And he got that three count. Justice arguing with the referee now. That, now I must say that was kind of a quick count, but he's a trained official. Whatever he says goes. Justice arguing with Elijah, rightfully so, but he pushes Elijah and he pushes him back. Justice is upset, he's shook, he's shocked. And in the back, we have Daniel Miraculous with a very special message. Last week, Tara Ray, you stole my opportunity to have an evening alone with Michael the Radio Clark. Instead, you award Michael's championship opportunity to your boy toy, Q. Well, seeing how you like to get in the way of people's dreams, I'm gonna shatter yours. You hope and pray that Q can take this championship off of me at Extravaganza, and I'm going to give it my all over my dead body. I'm gonna take you, little lap dog. I'm gonna take that Chicago kid, and I'm gonna make him a man. And he's going all the way to Miraculand. And Daniel Miraculous, the BCA Junior Rated Champion, will go up against the Chicago Kid Q at Extravaganza December 1st at 7:30 p.m. It was the junior beta champion got to say, we all know Daniel is never at a loss for words. Thank <laughs> you. 
come out here and interrupt your promo time. But you couldn't help but notice you've got a lot of grievances towards Miss Piggy Carrot. And well, I'm not exactly her biggest fan either. You see, last week, I had a date. I had a night. I had evening plans out to spend with Michael's radio. What? We had him all alone, all night long. But that, that was stolen from me. Tara Ray decided that she would award you Michael's jam shot. His opportunity, his chance at my junior day championship. She just gave it away. She ruined my dream so that she could make her dream of having Hugh's junior day champion come true. And since she decided to get in my way, I'm gonna get in of hers. You see, Hugh and Tara think that it's a foregone conclusion that Q is going to walk away from extravaganza. Junior made a champion. They haven't even thought about the fact that I love a challenge. And I'm going to take the Chicago kid and turn him into a man. He's going to experience a trip from Earth And the VCA Junior Bait of Champion, Daniel Miraculous, not scared of his challenger, the Chicago Kid Q, comes in Saturday, December 1st at VCA's Extravaganza. And our second contest is underway. We have the VCA Tag Team Champions of the World, the greatest show on earth. The Pharaoh Brooks and Malik the Great going up against the VC Junior Beta Champion Daniel Miraculous and in the ring, Wayne. And I talked to Wayne backstage earlier and he told me that if he beats the Samoan Raja at Extravaganza, he just wants five minutes in the ring with Tara Ray. Pull out the maneuvers he's pulling off tonight against Brooks. He might just stand a chance of beating Raja. Now that's that's a big chance, but Dwayne seemingly out wrestling Brooks and then reverses the hip toss into one of his own, whipping Brooks off the ropes. Brooks reverses. Close line missed. And a head scissors by Dwayne taking the VCA Tag Team Champion off of his feet, grabbing Brooks and throwing him down to the mat. I don't know what Dwayne has been doing these past couple weeks training, but he is extremely impressive here tonight. Oh, these men going for that wrist lock. Looks like Dwayne once again out wrestling the Tag Team Champion. He's tagging in the junior beta champion at this time, Daniel Miraculous, with that kick to the knee, excuse me, to the elbow of Brooks. Shooting him off the ropes. Close line missed. And an elbow connected. Daniel Miraculous pinning Brooks. The Pharaoh kicks out at two. Daniel taking the wig off. Daniel going up against the Chicago Kid Q at Extravaganza. Both of them going for that mountain stretch. But neither one of them can get it. Daniel sliding his hands across the chest of Brooks. Brooks tagging out saying he doesn't want no part of that. Leak in the ring reluctantly going up against the junior beta champion. We saw these two square off last week in our first episode here on YouTube. For Daniel Miraculous, too, was big tiny last week. 
unsuccessfully beating the tag team champions. Brooks used the cane to attack Big Tiny and score the victory. But it's a whole nother day, and Daniel Miraculous is more ready than he ever has been. Get prepared for his match against the Chicago Kid Q. And what is sure to be one hell of a match come December 1st. Malik rolling over Daniel's body. And a leak frog from Daniel, the tag team champion, and stomping into the scapula of Malik. Now Daniel's got a match against the Chicago Kid Q after last week when Q defeated Michael Clark in an impromptu matchup made by Tara Ray. Telling Michael he has to put up his junior beta championship opportunity against the Chicago Kid Q. And Q was successful with the assist of Tara Ray. Now he is the new number one contender. And Daniel has said he doesn't care who is the number one contender. He said he's going to take out whoever they put in the ring with him. He said he is going to turn the Chicago Kid into a man. And he successfully defends his championship. That extravaganza. An atomic drop by Malik. And a vicious forearm sending the junior beta champion drilling down to the mat. The tag by Malik. Brooks now the legal man. Both men have the legs of Daniel and they split him in two. And wrestling fans, I want to remind everybody that VCA does shows every Friday night live in the VCA studio on 4275 Winchester Road, Suite 3594, Memphis, Tennessee. And a bulldog by Brooks. To see action like this, come to VCA studio every Friday night at 8 o'clock. Tickets are $10 for everybody. You can see the address in the description below on the YouTube page. And a tag from the Pharaoh to the great Malik. Brooks down the ring, referee trying to send him back to the corner where he belongs. Malik choking Daniel. Daniel's wrapped around those ropes. Referee stopping him, but Brooks taking advantage of Daniel in the corner and stopping him. Malik picking up Daniel Miraculous and slamming him down to the mat. Going to the outside now. I think I've seen this maneuver before. Singing from the top with a leg drop. Malik's not done though. Vicious knee drop by Malik to the junior fighting champion. That could be it. Daniel Miraculous kicks out at two. Daniel desperately needs that tag on Dwayne. To save this matchup, he needs to tag in that freshman Dwayne. Unfortunately for him though, Malik and Brooks, the veterans that they are, always sending Daniel back to their corner and getting that fresh tag. Every chance they can get. Every time they make that tag and they walk into that ring, it is a brand new freshman every single time. And whipping Brooks though, getting the elbow to the back of Brooks. Daniel needs this moment, but then Daniel realizes it. He's got Brooks right where he wants him. We've all seen this before. And Miraculous just can't help himself. Daniel Miraculous. Got a cinch in that stink face to the tag team champion, but Brooks moves out of the way. And a Russian leg sweep by Brooks, sending Daniel Miraculous down. Brooks. Surprised by what is underneath having Daniel's own leg and censoring him. Anderson Davis to grab the wig and he does so. Attack from Brooks to Malik. I don't think Malik wants in there though. Crawling closer to his partner. And Brooks still in the ring, referee challenge. He's taking control of this matchup. 
And Malik dropping the elbow on Daniel, preventing him from making that tag that he so desperately needs. Malik stretching Daniel, grabbing those arms and bringing them as far back as he can. Daniel needs that tag more than anything right now. They have been wearing and tearing Daniel down for the past few minutes here. Daniel's trying to get out of it. He's about to get reversed. Oh! Malik rakes Daniel in the eyes to prevent him from going any further with whatever he was trying to do. Dwayne says, come on, I got you. He needs to get that tag in. If he wants any shot of winning here tonight. The tag team champions are they're completely dominating in this contest. Malik grabbing Daniel's head and putting him against those ropes, choking him. He has to five. Malik slapping the hand of Dwayne out of the way. And Dwayne trying to get in there and do something about it, but Malik going to the outside. Brooks is walking right on in. He just heard it. Malik just slapped his hands. Referee thinking it was a tag. He so I guess he's allowing it. But we need to see the tag. I don't know where this referee learned the rules of professional wrestling, but obviously it's in the favor of the greatest show on earth. I can't be the only one seeing this. It's hard to call it's actually working for him. The greatest show on earth knows exactly what they're doing, positioning him exactly where they need him to be so they can take advantage of beating up the challengers here tonight. Malik completely manhandling Daniel Miraculous on the outside while Brooks has the referee distracted. Sending the Junior Vader champion back inside the ring. Brooks looking for a leg drop and he hits it. Leaning over the champion, he says the match is won. But Daniel instinctively kicks out, but Brooks is choking him. Blatantly in front of the referee. That's what gets me confused about referee Tavis here is that no matter what they do in front of the referee or behind the referee, he seems to always let it slide, if not a little bit delayed in, in, the, in the matter of stopping them. And a heel kick by Brooks. This one, Daniel Miraculous thinks he has the upper hand, but a kick out by Daniel. Brooks has gone one-on-one -on -one with many international superstars, including Leo Rush, Davey Richards, Jerry the King Lawler, Bill Dundee, and Bill Dundee is actually scheduled for extravaganza, and all Brooks has been talking about this past week is how he doesn't care who is going to be in this ring. If it's Bill Dundee, if it's Jerry Lawler, he's going to take them out like he always has. Brooks is no stranger to stepping in the ring with veterans. Speaking of veterans, the tag by Malik. Malik with a kick to the ribs of Daniel Miraculous, sending the junior native champion down. Daniel Miraculous crawling to his corner, tagging Dwayne. Malik locking in the headlock. Trying to take Daniel Miraculous even further down than he already is. And Daniel Miraculous stretching that hand out, but there's nobody on his side on that corner. Daniel Miraculous needs to get up and get that tag. Daniel up to his feet now. And an elbow shot to the gut of Malik. And a second one releases the hold. Just as he's about to whip off those ropes. Brooks. Excuse me, Malik stops him and slams him with that jumping elbow, but Daniel just rolls over getting that shoulder up. And a tag by Malik. Brooks is now the legal man in this contest. He's more worried about the people in the audience than he is about Daniel. Daniel with a shot to, to Brooks, but Brooks grabbing that foot. Slamming that down in the mat and picking the junior better champion up. Got him in a headlock now. Tavis checking on the champion. He's 
see if he can still compete. Daniel barely wiggling his feet. He's taking all of this out of him. Daniel picking up that little sprint of energy, getting back to his feet. He needs to get that tag in, but he shoots off Brooks. Brooks with a devastating DDT. Brooks going for that cover now. Referee Tavis. That's a two count. Dwayne stops him. Tavis forcing Dwayne to the outside because he's not the legal man. Brooks spitting in the face of Dwayne, but Dwayne stepping right back in the ring. I know exactly what Brooks is doing. Brooks is doing whatever he can to get the referee distracted. Whatever move he was going for, though, Daniel Miraculous reverses it. The boot from Brooks. And a close by, but he misses, and a neck breaker by Daniel Miraculous. Both men are down. Daniel needs to roll over and make that tag. And right now, Brooks, Brooks is out. Brooks is out. Malik stretching that hand out to Brooks. And looks like Brooks just might get the tag. In, but will Daniel get the tag in also when he does? Dwayne's inside the ring. Close line to Malik. An elbow. Wayne pushing Malik off, Malik reverses. Close line, misses. And an impressive head scissors over the body of Malik. And a two count. Wayne going to the top rope. Excuse me, the middle rope, he's about to jump off now and a missile drop kick. Sending the tag team champion down in a non-title contest. Brooks hears that count being made, turns over, and Daniel Miraculous with the rear end to Brooks, sending the champion out of the ring. Daniel telling Dwayne to move in for the kill, and he does! A devastating cutter by Dwayne. Rolling Malik over for that pin. And Malik kicks out. What's this? Q. He just ran in and tried to attack Daniel, but Daniel got the upper hand of it. Daniel taking care of Q, saying, you're not going to stop this match. You're not going to get me disqualified. Dwayne worried about his partner here, but Emily with an elbow to, to Dwayne sending him down. Looks like this might be it. The greatest show on earth versus Dwayne at this point. Then the Marek is too preoccupied with his opponent at extravaganza Q. And the brain buster by Malik, that's it. And the tag team champions win once again. And it's all thanks to the Chicago Kid Q. And it is now time for the main event of the evening. The BCA Heavyweight Champion, Big Tiny, going one on one against the Samoan Raja. A match booked by Tara Ray earlier this week. Tara Ray on vacation this week. She said earlier on Facebook this week that she wants Big Tiny to go one on one. I guess Raja in a match that's sure to take a toll on Big Tiny before extravaganza. What's up, BCA? Look, of course y'all know Big Tiny. 
<laughs> ain't afraid of nobody. But you know, since I got rid of the cabinet, Terry Ray has really been trying to make my life a living hell. Really, she does. But how I think more she's trying to make my life a living hell, I think it's because I don't think she likes me. She don't like herself. How she don't like anybody when she don't like herself? It's cool. It's cool. Look at her. See, even though Tara Ray is out of town, she said business has to keep going on. And with that being said, she still thinks that she's going to punish me. And the way she's supposed to be doing it is by putting me in a match with the Samoan Raja. Even though it's a non-title match, don't get me wrong. The Samoan Raja is no lightweight. He's no featherweight. He's not even a tame animal. He's a savage. Now, the thing of it is, See, I believe Terry Ray is so upset that I captured out the cabinet that she wants to injure me. She wants to put me out before our biggest event of the year, which is extravaganza. Now, the thing of it is, when extravaganza is on the way, you would think I would come in and have an easy opponent because you would want to see your champ main event there or somewhere up in there. But no, she's trying to keep me away from it all together. Yeah. You see, but the problem is, y'all know me. I'm going to disappoint Terry Ray. See, this evening, I'm going to disappoint the Samoan Raja. This evening, I'm going to put his giant tag hands on his back. And this evening, the Samoan Raja ass will belong to Tiny. And you just heard Big Tiny, and look who it is, the Samoan Raja. This monster of a man coming from the Isle of Samoa. Ready to get his hands on the heavyweight champion, Big Tiny, but Big Tiny coming in with blows early on. This match is underway. Big Tiny trying to get the advantage early on. Big Tiny says Tara Ray only put him in this match to wear him down before extravaganza. The Samoan Raja will go one on one against former referee Dwayne. Dwayne might be his last match ever. When you go up against a big man like Raja, there may not be no coming back. The big Tani going for the splash, misses Raja, hits the corner. Raja with those punches. The fierceness from Raja here tonight. Noking Big Tiny in that corner. Referee counting to five. Raja letting go just in the nick of time, but. This is shot from Raja onto Big Tiny. Raja putting Tiny in the opposite corner. Gonna do here. Choking Big Tiny again. Yes, so five. Oh. Referee just called for the bell, but I think the intimidation of Raja. Referee changing his mind. Afraid of what the Samoan Raja will do to him. Sitting Big Tiny in the corner. Oh, that was a giant splash. Exploding that turnbuckle pad. So punches from Big Tiny. Uh, we all know this. I've witnessed it before myself. And a vicious shot by Big Tiny. Oh, yeah. One more. 
Big Tani saying there's gonna be one more for the Samoan Raja. Raja stops him, hits him across the face. Raja sending Tani back into the turnbuckle and a chop of his own. Blows to the face. And it's very surreal to see a man like Big Tiny getting handled the way Raja is handling him here. These are two of the biggest men that have ever stepped in the VCA ring. Raja with a spin kick to the gut of Big Tiny, sending the heavyweight champion down to one knee. And Raja with a chop to the throat of Big Tiny, it looks like. I don't know what he has planned here, but using his hand to grasp onto the pressure point of Big Tiny. I don't know if you've ever had your pressure point pinched that way, but when it happens, you, you start going numb. You start losing feeling in your body. He has it on both sides of his shoulders now. Big Tiny in pain. Can't feel anything at this point. Ref needs to check him. Big Tiny might be going limp here. Ref needs to have a straight in the hand of Big Tiny. Well, it's one time. Here's a second. One more. And Raja will be your winner. Oh, Big Tiny. Feeling the power. He's feeling the energy. He says it's not over yet. Tiny getting up to his feet. Oh, but off the back. And a close line from both men, but Big Tiny is the one that goes down. Raja still standing strong. Raja with a foot across the throat of Big Tiny, choking the big man. Raja is a completely scary individual. I would hate to step in the ring with him. But Big Tiny, he doesn't have that option. He doesn't have that choice. Sarah Ray has put him in this match tonight. So he can be worn out for extravaganza. Hopefully Dwayne is watching in the back right now to know exactly what to be prepared for when he steps in the ring with that big giant man, Samoan Raja. Wayne has said that that could be his last match ever, and you can't really blame him. Look at this man. If someone like Dwayne gets in the ring with, with Raja. It could very well be his last match in the elbow to the top of Big Tony's head, going for this pressure point lock. Big Tony losing feeling in his arms. You can see by his, by his hand. He's bringing Big Tony down to the mat. The referee Tavis checking on him, but Raja stopping the hold. He wants to put more pressure on him. A splash from the 350, 400 pound man. The Samoan Raja, he even is a man. I don't know what he is. Tara Ray hired the Raja to come out here and destroy Big Tiny by any means necessary. He is going to wear him out until he cannot walk out of the building. I've never seen Big Tiny get beat up like this. This, this is becoming too much now. Raja up on his feet at 100%. Just taunting Big Tiny, telling him to get up. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do? Big Tiny up to his feet now. And a kick, but Big Tiny pushes him away. Big Tiny, the close line. Another one, the big man still on his feet. Big Tiny, go off the ropes. With extra force, this is Spear, and the big man Samoan Raja is down. 
Big Zon is pumped up, he's fired up, he's ready to go. The straps are off. And just like that, this could be the end of Raja here tonight. Raja up to his feet. Big Tiny going to the opposite corner. He's running in for that splash, but Raja gets out of the way. Raja realizes that it could have been all over for him right there. Raja's not playing any more games anymore. He's clobbering Big Tiny across the face. Referee count to five. That's it. This, this match is over by disqualification. Raja could care less. Like I said, he's not here to win. He's not here to defeat Big Tiny. He's here to beat Big Tiny, and he heads Travis across the face with a headbutt. Travis is down and out. Raja does not care. He was hired to put down the heavyweight champion, and that is what he will do. Referee Elijah in the ring now, trying to stop the big Samoan and Raja. Decimating the heavyweight champion, but Raja hits him across the face with a fist. We need some help out here. This, this, this is not called for. This is unnecessary. Come on. We, we need some people from the back to come help. Big Tony can barely stand. Raja helping him up just to put him back down. And that thumb to the throat of Big Tiny. I don't think Big Tiny can even breathe. Big Tiny might be knocked out here. Raja going for that giant splash in the middle rope. We've seen that before. That force could break ribs alone. Raja going up to the middle rope. This could be all the bells ringing. This match is over. Someone needs to get out here and help. So, what, what, what's this? Dwayne! Dwayne, Raja's opponent for extravaganza on the top rope. This is with that drop kick sending Raja down. Dwayne trying to help his friend, his partner, Big Tiny. Big Tiny is knocked out from that slow and spike by Raja. Wayne's too worried about Big Tiny though. Raja, Raja getting back up to his feet. Wayne doesn't even see it. Oh, Wayne realizes what's in store for him now. Wayne, go ahead and get out of the ring. No, Wayne holding his own against the Samoan and Raja. Trying to whip Raja off the ropes, but the Samoan and Raja is not budging. It doesn't matter how many blows Dwayne gives to Raja. One blow is all he needs to take Dwayne out. Body slam to Dwayne. He's, he is out on the mat. He's out cold. Raja says it's not over. He was sitting here to take out Big Tiny, but if Dwayne gets in his way, he'll take him out too. And a splash by the Samoan Raja. This could be exactly what we see at Extravaganza. Samoan Raja picking Dwayne up. What's he gonna do here? He said he's signaling for it. A power slam. He's going to ascend to the middle rope and hit the same move he's about to hit Tiny with. Raja setting Dwayne up. The Samoan Raja is unstoppable. Big Tiny pulls Dwayne outside of the ring. Raja sees this. Big Tiny saving Dwayne from an absolute mauling by the Samoan Raja. 
VCA fans, that's all the time we have for you here tonight. I want to ask you to please join us this Friday with the return of Xander Reigns. For VCA, I'm Spencer Beretta. Thank you and good night. Terror freaking right. I give you your props. You tried to take me out. I believe you wanted to take me out. You wanted to take me out before extravaganza for me getting rid of your little precious cabinet. That's okay. You some Raja in. Even though it was a non-title match, you tried to get me out of the game. But you know what? He did a damn good job. Oh, I'm banged up. He got my throat hurting as you can hear him hoarse. But you know what? He couldn't get the job done. I'm still standing. And guess what, Tara? <coughs> you made it personal. And you know how I get when it get personal. Tara Ray, I'm coming for you. And whoever you want to bring, whoever it is, they ask. We belong.